Volvo Car Corporation has a vision to design cars that do not crash. By 2020, no one should be killed or injured in a new Volvo. At present, they're working on a safety feature that will assist the driver to detect animals on the road and in the surrounding environment. If an animal is detected and a dangerous situation approaching, the safety feature will send a warning to the driver. If the driver does not react, it will automatically hit the brakes. The animal detection system uses a sensor that can detect the presence of an animal in front of the car and automatically apply the brakes if the driver doesn't react. The goal is to avoid or mitigate many of the serious collisions with animals that occur today. In Sweden alone, 47,000 accidents involving wild animals occur every year, often resulting in serious and difficult injuries. A functional auto braking system would make it possible to avoid many of these accidents. The technology is based on training the system to recognize the shape and moving patterns of animals. And the biggest challenge in this project is gathering enough data to perform this training. Uh, but right now we are in the middle of that process. We started with moose and deer, but now we have moved on to horses and cows. But we are focusing on the largest animals that causes the most serious collisions. Animals are designed to be invisible by nature, so the system will need more angles and views of them than of pedestrians. Even though we ultimately would like to avoid collisions with animals, the top priority right now is to reduce the speed from around 100 km per hour down to below 80 km per hour. Below that speed, the passengers in the car are well protected and the risk of serious injury is much smaller. Today's system has a reaction time of about half a second, but in the next generation we hope to reduce this even further. At Volvo Car Corporation, they are convinced that the animal detection feature will reduce the number of injuries and fatalities in accidents with animals. The animal detection feature is planned to be in production within just a few years.